shook it up. Good afternoon, guys, and welcome back to my channel. It has been, oh, well, Bailey's decided it's time to play. She does this once a day, and obviously, as soon as I get my camera out, to make a video that I've been trying to not put off, but trying to get the words together to make, that is obviously the moment where she chooses to play today. So excuse the noise in the background. As you can see, you're probably like, where's Lainey at? This isn't her house. Well, yes, it is. Um, so I haven't made a video since July. Um, we are still in full-fledged lockdown in the UK. We hadn't um, been able to go to the gym in months. I was stuck in my house, uh, just literally leaving the house to go get groceries. And Ailey, you're so funny. She's so hilarious. She's trying to break the tension, I feel, with her playfulness. You all right, Bells? What are you doing? So as you can see, me and the dogs are um, have moved to a new house. Um, <laughs> we are in a new home. It's the little girl's cottage of love. Um, we're still in Shropshire area. And we'll just ignore them playing. They're obviously loving their house. I'm very happy here, which is good. And so am I. Um, we've really found our feet here and have settled into our new environment. Um, obviously, I'm living alone here with the dogs, so that is a big relationship status change, but I don't want to dwell on that. I like to keep my personal life quite private, even though I do share a lot here online. Um, I would like to keep that private to extent, but know that the decision I made to move out and to kind of start fresh um, was not an easy decision, but it was in fact the right decision. And um, we are both very happy and moving on with our lives and have set new goals. And it just didn't mesh together that they went together. So that's why we've moved on. But in the last couple of months, I've gone about starting up a new career. I'm investing a lot of time and energy in myself. And that's nice to feel like I'm doing something for myself. Um, not being selfish, but just we get one life and I feel like in this one life we should um, Not just be focused on other people but be focused on yourself and getting what you can out of life And if people come into your life who want to share those experiences and want to enhance them, that's amazing and um, Over the past seven years, I obviously had someone who I was sharing my life with but as we move forward It just wasn't feasible for us to continue on together and what we wanted out of life and um, they just our paths were going in different directions So there's no bad blood there and um, as I said both very happy and content and moving forward even though it was a huge adjustment and I've spent the last couple of months adjusting to my new life and settling into it and uh, I don't want anyone stressing out that I'm putting on this facade of happiness and um, I genuinely am happy and um, hopefully over the next coming videos I can share more of my life with you guys and show you what I've been up to uh, with my new career which is that I've gotten into aesthetics so most of you know that uh, my background is in science I was a biomedical scientist when I lived in Ireland and I loved number one learning about the human body I'm obviously very into that and number two I love helping people and feeling like I am making a difference in people's lives so um, it was a natural progression to go into fitness once I discovered it and I love I, I still do love fitness it is still a huge part of my life I still go to the gym regularly I'm still eating healthy I'm still progressing with that I'm still doing my Instagram and YouTube based around health and fitness but um, I just found that like as a 38 year old woman um, it's not that it's a to do taboo subject but there is like so many anti-aging treatments out there that I like and that aren't about changing your face I'm not talking about getting massive lips or you know doing massive cheekbones or anything like that but things like the anti-wrinkle injections um, subtle fillers and um, profilo which is a treatment that I've trained in and I am obsessed with and I've had done myself and have seen major changes to the way I look and feel and it just gives you that confidence gives you that glow that everyone's looking for as we grow older we lose all the collagen from our skin things start to sag you know, you're seeing wrinkles and everything. And it is just something that I've always been very interested in from um, a 
female point of view, from a scientific point of view, from a body positive, feeling good about yourself point of view. And now I'm just really delighted that I can actually incorporate this into a feasible career and do something with it uh, using my background and yeah I'm really excited to start it. It will be a gradual process. I'm not going to have a hundred thousand clients and I don't think it's even feasible to have that many clients but I'm not going to have a load of clients straight away. I am building it up and I want to build up people's trust and everything. I will be doing clinics all around the UK in different areas up north and um, I'm going to have a clinic here in Shropshire I'm going to be having one closer to London so keep an eye on my um my new page which is my clinic page it is called the fear clinic so it's spelled f-i-o-r clinic um fear in Irish means true because I want people like men and women to get back to their true selves to feel good about themselves it's not about augmenting your face it's about just feeling like your true self and feeling like you should feel regardless of what age you are or what stage in life you're at so that is what I've kind of been working on the past couple of months obviously it was a big move to move to a new home and I've been trying to make my home feel homely and welcoming and like my own and I think I have done that over the last couple of months I've obviously been building a lot of new relationships with people and um, making a lot of new friends, putting myself out there, um, having people over for dinner. Again, we are still living during a pandemic and you know we have rules here in the UK and in my area where it's like you can only gather with six people but I have been making new girlfriends and meeting up for coffees, going for cocktails, getting out there, being social because I refuse to let a change in my status kind of make me miserable and sit back and kind of question everything about myself. I have done that, I'm not gonna lie, I have had the days where I have felt sad and overwhelmed that everything is changing, um, that someone who I thought would be in my life for a long time no longer is, and it has been sad, but saying that I have gotten to a very content point in my life and I'm hoping he has too where um, we're moving forward and being happy and making plans for ourselves. And that's the main thing, I just wish everyone happiness and health and I hope over the coming weeks when I start getting back into my videos more that you will join me on the journey. I'm sure you'll all have your opinions on it but be mindful that this was a very personal choice of mine and um, it is my life. It's not just something that people gossip about so I just want you to just be cautious about your words just in general to people everyone's decisions in life are their own and this was an individual decision and um, that we both came to and agreed upon and um i think we should just be respectful of that just generally when people make decisions about their own lives just be respectful that it is their decision and it's nothing to do with you so moving forward i'm glad to be back on youtube i feel like this video has been uh, very much anticipated. Um, if you have any comments, questions, uh, try to keep them uh, away from the whole personal sector. Try and keep them happy and uplifting, please, for my benefit. I would really appreciate that. And I hope you will um, join me on my next couple of videos because I'm going to do a house tour so that you can see my lovely home. You're getting a little glimpse of it. You can see that it's a cottage and it's quite old. Um, I'd also like to do an update on what I'm at with my training and um, my health and fitness. I'll do updates on whatever you want. You want to see more videos? Just comment down below what you want to see from me because it's a whole new beginning for me. I feel like I have a fresh slate to start something new and I really want to share that with you guys because you've always been there to support me and to uplift me when I've been feeling down but right now I'm feeling really good. I'm in a really good place and I just want to share that positive energy with people on the internet when all the world seems to be collapsing around us. Why don't we just keep it positive and um, move forward together and be happy. So I am a bit snuffly, I have a little bit of a cold, it is winter, it's coming up to Halloween, I'm wearing my Bride of, Bride of Frankenstein t-shirt. Another thing that I've really gotten into is embracing my own style again and um, maybe I could do some more style updates for you guys so yeah hopefully uh, we'll get on with making loads of content, sharing um, everything that's been going on in my life in uh, as much detail as I feel like I want to share with the internet. Um, so thank you again for watching and uh, stay good, stay positive, stay kind. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm Superman, I spend my time flying high, going round, but I'm always getting wayside. Some people trying to shit on me, I said, girl, you can sit on me, cause bitch, they be hating 